Hey guys, Ambrose here. We're out here in the kitchen garden uh, and we're going to do a container today uh, straight out of the Proven Winners catalog. It's called Strawberry Fields. We're very excited to get this one going. We've had these plants for a while so the rain's kind of been beating on them. Uh, so we want to get them in this container really, really quick. But what the container uh, includes is the, uh, the new Berry Treasure Strawberry that Proven Winners put out in the Proven Harvest line. Um, here we have it right here. This thing grows about 12 to 16 inches tall and wide. And when we first got it, it already had little strawberries. It had some nice red flowers as well. It looks very beautiful, green foliage. Um, so we're very excited to taste this one and, and get this one growing and have a, a good amount of strawberries. Uh, also included with this, uh, this container is the, uh, the, another plant from the Proven Harvest line. It's called the Amazel Basil. This one gets about 20 to 36 inches tall and wide. Um, we actually saw this at the garden show once and this thing was absolutely huge. Uh, we've already used it for cooking as well. Um, it smells amazing. Um, it's a great plant. I think we're going to enjoy out here in the kitchen garden and be able to use from time to time. Um, again, this is a, they produced this one to actually be uh, downy mildew resistant. So um, we're excited to use this one in here. We get a lot of rain here, a lot of humidity. So it's actually going to do well here in this garden here. Um, the other thing we have here that goes in this container is called uh, Super Bell's Holy Cow. Now this one gets to about 6 to 12 inches tall. Um, if you haven't seen the Super Bells, these things can absolutely fill a container. And when I say fill a container, they can definitely fill a container. But just absolutely love the color on this one. It looks amazing, hence the name Holy Cow. So we're very excited to use this one as well. And then the, uh, the main thriller of this container is going to be this right here. This is the Rockin' Fuchsia um, Salvia. Um, this thing looks absolutely amazing. The hummingbirds, uh, we haven't even put in a container. The hummingbirds just come attack this thing and they're absolutely enjoying it here. They're enjoying the, the kitchen garden. Um, so this one, again, like I said, it, it goes 24 to 36 inches tall and wide. So it's a great, great uh, uh, thriller for the container here. Um, we have some other ones that we use. The, uh, we have the, uh, the firecracker and we also have the pineapple sage as well, which uh, produces the same type of flowers. Um, but we didn't prune this one back. This one is self deadheading. There's no need to deadhead it. Uh, you can prune it to, look, to give it a nice shape and form and how you look at it, but there's absolutely no deadheading necessary. We've had this one out here for a while and it just keeps flowering over and over and over again. So we're very excited to get this one in the, in the, in the container as well. All right guys, so I've already filled the container with some soil. I lifted about an inch lower because of the bigger plant that we have and we're gonna move some soil around in there. Um, so let's go ahead and get this started. The first thing we're gonna use is I'm gonna use some, uh, some Biotone starter in, the, in our container here to get the roots uh, nice and established in there. And we're gonna put maybe about a, a cup total in here. And we're just going to work that into the soil. Um, so like I said before, we had these plants out for a while. Um, we hadn't planted them yet. The, the weather just hasn't been cooperating. But today's a very nice day. The family's out here. We're all enjoying the kitchen garden, uh, enjoying being out here. So, you know, you'll hear the kids in the background playing as well. They're just having just as much fun as we are in the garden. So it's absolutely amazing to be out here and just be able to enjoy the evening, um, uh, especially with the, longer, uh, with the longer days. The sun doesn't go down to about 8. Um, so we're absolutely able to be out here and enjoy the most amount of time we can in the garden. So the first thing I'm going to put in here is I'm going to put the, uh, the Rockin' Fuchsia Salvia. Um, now this one's going to go back here in the corner here. It's going to be the Thriller uh, in this container. Now with this plant right here, um, like I said, it's self deadheading, so you don't need to deadhead it. But even when the flowers are spent, it still gives a nice color to the uh, to the spent blooms. Um, so it doesn't take away from 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 anything that the plant actually has to give. Uh, it's still a great color. Still attracts still attracts the hummingbirds with very little flowers. Um, it, it's absolutely amazing how many hummingbirds come around. Uh, just a minute ago, there was one just flying here. It's a red throat hummingbird. Um, they absolutely love these plants. Um, the next thing we're going to put in here is the amazel basil. We're going to put that right next to the uh, to the salvia here. Um, and the reason I chose a square container uh, was exactly for this reason alone, because it's four plants, and we want to kind of have them squared off. So we kind of have the uh, we have the thriller, and then the basil is kind of a thriller slash filler. Um, but it's going to give a nice. It's going to bush out pretty good. It's going to give a nice contrast to the. Uh, to the purple over here and the, and the darker green leaves with the with the almost lime colored uh, uh, basil. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our buried treasure strawberry over on this side here. Um, 
this is gonna be our our, our spiller slash uh, filler in the container as well. We're gonna put it not centered, but just a little bit away from the edge there. That way it grows out. And then the next filler we're gonna have is the uh, Super Bell's Holy Cow. Um, now this one, uh, I'm pretty impressed with this one. It, it has a, a awesome mounding habit, as you can see there. And we're just gonna be very excited to see this one spill over into the container and have that effect that we're looking forward to in the container here with it spilling completely over. And all these colors, they, they absolutely contrast with every single plant in here. The bells have a nice yellow throat and kind of a painted pink on the white flower. Um, so it's, it, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous looking. Um, and I think the whole the whole container together with all these plants absolutely looks amazing. Um, so there you have it, guys. This is exactly what, what we see in the, uh, the catalog and what we wanted. Um, I had to go out and get these plants just to see if I can get it looking exactly what it looks like in the catalog. And again, they're just now filling out. Once they fill out, they're gonna look absolutely amazing. I think it's gonna be a, a great show here in the kitchen garden. So um, again, guys, if you haven't uh, checked out Proven Winners, definitely go on there, take a look at their catalog. There's all kinds of great containers, great plants you can mix together. Absolutely amazing plants, very vibrant, uh, very awesome plants, especially the Proven Harvest line. I'm very, very excited about the Proven Harvest line. Uh, we got some tomatoes and some peppers we're going to try out from them. Uh, the strawberries and the basil. I mean, like I said, we use the basil. It's an absolutely amazing plant to use while cooking. Um, but it, it, it's absolutely awesome to be able to try this stuff. Um, so that's going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next video.